All right, I'm uh, having another go at trying to align this um, Dynatron chassis uh, on the FM band. Um, to, we've done an IF alignment once before. Um, the set's not particularly sensitive. That could possibly be because it's only had a couple, a couple of stages of the IF um, of an IF script. Um, if we've got no uh, manual for it, so I'm trying to sort of going a bit blind, really. Um, assuming, which is quite a good assumption, that uh, the set uses a 10.7 MHz IF. Um, and as you can see here, I'm injecting the signal actually not actually into the can, but I'm actually in, got the crocodile clip here that goes to the um, HP signal generator. That's connected to that cap point there, to the outer of the uh, coax of so feeding sort of into the first stage of the IF amplifier. <coughs> I'm injecting a sweep signal from 10.3 to 11 megahertz um, and then I'm modulating with a 10.7 megahertz marker um, and this is what I'm getting on the scope. This is the S curve from the uh, the um, audio output of the uh, amplifier. Um, I have actually got a marker signal being injected, but it's very difficult to see where the marker is. And actually, even turning the marker off doesn't seem to. I turn the marker off, which is by turning the ampli, the, ampli uh, the modulation off. There's no actual change to the waveforms. Uh, it always looks the same. So that's that's marker on. Now I'm assuming that the centre crossing point is 10.7 megahertz because that's where the the signal starts at. Um, I suppose the other possible way I could do this, um, I'm using the XY mode at the moment, which is, uh, I've got all this information actually off Bob Anderson, uh, Bob Anderson's uh, Bob Anderson TV uh, site. There's a lot of uh, demonstrations of sweep generators and that's actually basically taught me most of what I know when it comes to a sweep generator, so thanks for that Bob. Um, but I can run it on the main. Now, the bottom curve here is the response of the um, discriminator. So if you put that as centre zero, it doesn't look very good to me. It looks distorted. But if you look here, let's just move the offset slightly so we can put the centre. That's the start of the uh, sweep. 10.3 megahertz and that's the end of the sweep so if we put that center which is basically where it was out there which is it's your time reference point there that's the crossing point here and that, that looks to me like there's something wrong possibly with the discriminator um, or it could be a can pizza incorrectly so let's give that a little tweak uh, so what I'm going to adjust first now is the, the first IF can to see if that does anything to this waveform. Okay. Well, that's looks like that's bringing it into a more uniform sort of waveform. Okay. Let's try the second second can. Second can because the clip's in the way. Okay. Okay, the waveform's growing. Oh, and radio stations come through now, so I've got a huge increase of sensitivity. What I'm going to do now is reduce the um, the signal going into the IF. So I'm going to at 50 millivolts and 25 millivolts. Okay, so we're not running tuning it off station. Can hear it sets more sensitive straight away actually, let's get it to a dead point. Okay, let's give this another tweak. Okay, but, well I would say that's pretty peaked about there. 
Right, I'm going back to the first can again, just to tweak that to get that any better. I would say possibly there. Right, I'm going to go on to the third IF can. On the final IF can before the discriminator. Ah, uh, there you go. Wow, so okay, I'm turning the signal down even further. So amplitude is now down to 10 millivolts. A lot of hiss coming through in the radio now, so that's a good sign. Just tuning the radio away from the signal. So I'm looking for maximum amplitude here, really. And I want the peak to be at the center of the time reference, so... I think that's about the best I'm going to go there. I'm going to go back to the first can again, just to check that, and then I'll do the discriminator. The trouble is you can't rely on the hiss for um, the maximum signal, because the hiss that you receive will be AM hiss, and that's a good sign that the discriminant or that the front ends actually have a alignment. Okay, go back to the second winding. I'm injecting us 10 millivolts in now. We started at 30, so that's. Good there. Right, I'm going to discriminate now. Now then, you see that? What I really want is that peak, I would think, to the centre of the sweep. I'm going back to X, X Y mode again. Um, Probably you're doing this totally wrong, or someone's be going to be yelling at the screen saying, No, 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 you're doing it totally wrong, you've got the wrong idea. That's a sweet S curve. Um, can't see the marker still, which is annoying. Um, it doesn't look too bad, it's a bit noisy. Let's have another tweak of the discriminator. I reckon that's pretty good about there. So that's my attempt at an S curve um, without instructions. Uh, let's give it turn the generator off. Uh, amplitude off. Let's see if we can hear anything. Plug like an air in. For some reason it's got really poor bass as well at the moment. I think maybe a cat's gone. But it's working. And it's not distorted. So that's it. Um, hopefully that will um, be the problem corrected. Um, if you've got any ideas or any suggestions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.